I think you should pray for a problem that is factoring the difference of squares on a test or quiz because they're so easy. As long as you can identify that you have a difference of squares, then you're automatically going to get it right if you just listen to this. But basically, this is a difference of squares. And the key is difference, a minus sign, and squares, two things that are squared. That's x squared. I can see that pretty easily. 16, I mean, I think it's something squared. That's 4 squared, right? So then once you know that, all you do is this. You take the root of him plus the root of him, and then the root of him minus the root of him. So for example, this would be pl x plus 4, x minus 4. Root of him plus the root of him, etc. So when you spot them like this, they become really easy. You know, you go, oh, it's two things that are squared and they're subtracting one another. x plus 3, x minus 3. It does, I'm not going to lie, <coughs> depending on how cruel your teacher is, it can get a little weird. Um, I think the hardest part is knowing that you have a difference of squares. So like, I'll give you a couple that might look a little weird. And once you know there's difference of squares, you can solve them, but they might look weird. So like this one, maybe you have 121a squared minus 1. Like really, that that's actually super confusing. I do like that there's a minus sign. There's the difference part of difference of squares. Is this thing like something squared, and is that something squared, right? And they are, th this is actually 11a squared, and this would be 1 times 1 is 1, so this is 1. So really this would be 11a plus 1, 11a minus 1. So be aware of them. Um, there's one more annoying trick that I've seen done with difference of squares that'll mess you up. And it's, it's like this. So let's say you, you're really good at difference of squares when you spot them, and then something like this comes along. So you could have 2x squared minus 18. And you're, you see it, and you're like, well, there's a minus sign. And you know, I think I have a difference of squares. But there's definitely no root of 18. And there's also no root of 2. So this is, you just move on. Like, I'm going to get this wrong. I, I have no idea. This is not a difference of squares. I don't know. Don't forget, the first thing you usually do in factoring is you factor out whatever you can. So these both, I can pull a 2 out of both of these, right? 2 comes out of him and him, and I'm left with x squared minus 9. That is where my difference of squares comes in. So then I'm, you know, oh, okay, I get it, I get it. So now the 2 does not disappear. You keep him, and you factor that inside, and it becomes x plus 3, x minus 3. I think difference of squares are awesome because they're so easy. Uh, as long as you're not being, like, totally tricked by the system, and you spot it for what it is, then it's pretty easy. The root of him plus the root of him, root of him minus the root of him, and that's it. And remember, if you're struggling with this uh, Algebra 2 at your local high school, you can take this online at Silicon Valley High School, and the, tr and the credits will be transferred back to your school.